Hello students, our lesson today is about addition and subtraction of decimal numbers part 2. Let us start. Finding missing number and addition of decimals. In order to solve, we have to ask ourselves, what is the opposite of addition operation? The opposite of addition operation is subtraction operation. Then, to find the missing number in addition of decimals, we have to use subtraction. Let us take several examples. Example 1. 23.45 plus what number equals to 40? In order to solve, we have to use subtraction by subtracting smaller number from the larger number. Means 40 minus 23.45. In order to solve, I have to change the whole number, which is 40, into a decimal number. Then calculate in this way. 40.00 minus 23.45. Set the decimal numbers above each other, decimal points above each other. I borrow in this case and calculate the answer, which is 16.55. Example 2. What number plus 0.45 equals to 1? In the same way, subtract larger number minus smaller number. Then, 1 minus 0.45 equals to what? In order to solve, change whole number to a decimal number and calculate in this way 1.00 minus 0 0.45 decimal points above each other I borrow calculate the answer which is 0 0.55 finding missing digit and addition of decimals without carrying in the same way use the opposite of addition which is subtraction by subtracting bigger number minus smaller number here i have two decimal numbers they are set above each other i want to find the missing digit pay attention this addition of decimals is without carrying let us start always i start from here from the last digit i subtract bigger number minus smaller number means 9 minus 4 gives us 5 3 minus 3 gives us 0 bigger minus smaller 9 minus 2 gives us 7 another example i start from the last digit 8 plus 1 gives us 9 subtract bigger minus smaller number 8 minus 6 gives us 2 6 minus 1 gives us 5 3 minus 2 gives us 1 and 7 minus 0 gives us 7 decimal numbers on a number line this is a number line from 0 till 4 we are going to write the letter that corresponds to each number that represents the quantity on the number line in this number line we are jumping 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 till 1 1 1.2 1.2 1.8 1.9 2 2.1 2.2 2 till 2.9 3 3.1 3.2 till 3.8 3.9 4 we are going to write the letters A, B, C, D, E, and G beside the numbers that are given. Let us start with A. This is A. A is between 1 and 2, and it's between 1 and 1.1. We look at the given numbers and compare. I have 1.04 and 1.4. The 1.04 is less than 1.1, as for the 1.4 is greater than A is equal to 1.4. As for B, this is B. B is between 0 and 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I look in here, I have 0 0.40, which is equal to 0 0.4, because zeros after the point are useless, then B is equal to 0 0.40. As for C, C is between 3 and 4. It's between 3 and 3.1. I look in here. I have 3.50 and 3.05. 3.05 is less than 3.1. As for 3.50, it's greater. That's why C is equal to 3.05. As for D, D is between 1 and 2. 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4. This is D. As for E, E is between 3 and 4, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3 3.5. I don't have 3.5, I have 3.50, which is equal to 3.5. Then 
E is equal to 3.50. As for G, G is equal to 4, which is equal to 4.0, because as we said, zeros after the point are useless. This is a G. The sum is a whole number. The sum means answer of addition operation. I have the sum is 0 0.7. I have the first term. I want to calculate the second term. In the same way, use subtraction, which is the opposite. I start 0 0.4 is the first term plus 1. And the second term here gives me 0 0.7. Subtract bigger number minus smaller number. 0 0.7 minus 0 0.4 gives us 0 0.3. In the same way, second example, first term is given, plus second term, I don't know it, gives us 0 0.7. Subtract 0 0.7 minus 0 0.1 gives us 0 0.6. Second example, I have here a group of numbers. I have to put a star beside two numbers whose sum is a whole number. In order to know here, I have to try adding two different numbers to get a whole number answer. Let us start. I start 15.25 plus 36.20 gives us 51.45, which is not a whole number. Then it's not correct. It's wrong. Another one. 15.25 plus 24.75. It's 40. It's a whole number. It's correct. As for 36.20 plus 24.75, it's equal to 6.95, which is not a whole number. It's wrong. Then the two numbers that, if I add them, get, give me a whole number are 15.25 and 24.75. And this is your homework. Practice it. I love you 